Hello and good evening from the Pentland Hills. I'm just heading up for hopefully my first wild camp since lockdown. Now there's R4C, I was up there on Monday and uh, Allermuir Hill was nearly twice the height of R4C. So this one's testing my fitness just that bit more. I need oxygen. Jeez, oh. It's a beautiful night though. It's a bit hazy, but beggars can't be choosers. I've got two litres of water on my back as well. So I'm feeling it. Don't quite need oxygen, but aye. This will certainly help. This and going out on the bike a lot. Just a nice cooling breeze as well. This is where I'm headed. That's Allermuir Hill, just beyond that. The views behind me. Right over Edinburgh. Oh my god, I am breathing out my arse. Get in there. So sunset's not till 20 to 10 over there. I could have stayed in and watched Coronation Street and still made it in time. <laughs> and sunrise in the morning is over yonder in the east obviously and that's at half past four in the morning. I just need to figure out where I'm going to well camp tonight. It's fairly level here, a wee bit stony in places. Right, I can see a flat spot just there with the, the sheep are grazing, so I'm going to chase them away and I'm going to have a look. It looked flat from the summit. It's a bit tussocky, but that makes it more comfortable. Right, chaps, shift along. Aha, it looks pretty good. I think this will do. Summit's just up there. Hey right, chaps, go and graze elsewhere. <laughs> Come on, I'm going to set my tent up. Shoo, 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 shoo. Come on. sorted. If you haven't already guessed I've got the Lunar Solo with me. Seemed obvious choice for a nice summer's night. I never brought trekking poles with me though. I used the little pole that comes with it and I wouldn't want to use this on a windy night because it's a lot of flex and you can't have that as tight because that just bends so everything's just a little bit looser than what I'd normally like it. But uh, I can't see any issues tonight. My sleeping setup, I've got my cheap summer sleeping mat that I got off of Amazon. I've got my decathlon pillow and I've opted for my three season cumulus sleeping bag. The reason being just in case the temperatures drop a wee bit during the night. I was going to bring the summer bag but I've been caught out before with that. <laughs> I woke up freezing. I kept getting a whiff of uh, sheep poo, it was getting on my nerves. And I was like, looking about thinking I'd pitch next to a bit of it. And then lo and behold, big chunk on my heel of my shoe. <laughs> so I've been wandering about trying to scrape it off, but they only eat grass, it's not a huge issue.
So I've got myself a new toy. It's the Sotu lighter. And the main attraction to this is the neck extends and it just makes it a little bit easier to reach into here. So to light it there's a little safety button here so you have to push that in and then down. And boom. That's it lit. That was so much quicker than normal. It was £17 on the sale. Was it £17? I bought it from Valley and Peak. I've been buying a lot of stuff from them. And it's got a little bit here so you don't burn your fingers because obviously that can get really hot. And then you just close that again, like so. There you go. It's got a little window there so you can see how much fluid you've got left. Uh, this is just about to boil. I had my dinner before I left my house, so just a little snack before I go to bed. I'll be getting these again, by the way. Really tasty, and I think they were like 49 pence out of B&M's. Not overly filling, but uh, they've got 92 calories, so it's just a nice little, just before you go to bed, a wee hot snack if you like. Not too much water, so you're bursting for the loo during the night. <laughs> Anyway, the sun's long gone, and I'm just watching all the city lights starting to appear now. But I'll uh, bring you back in the morning. See you then. Oh, good morning, campers. Oh. Well, that was a tale of two halves last night. The first half of the night. Never got any sleep, and then the wind calmed down. And I did get some sleep. <sighs> the sun's going to pop up any minute now. I can just see the tent's going to lighten up. <sighs> oh dear me, it's only about quarter past four. I'm going to get up and see if I can see the sunrise. So uh, let's have a look, shall we? Ah yes, it's going to be nice. As it stands, it's just me and the Skylarks and the stunning sunrise that's coming up. That is pretty cool. Two sex guys, somebody's actually just trying to Raid my tent. Oi! Oi! Bloody hell. Get away, you. Get away. That was close. Breakfast is served. Porridge in a bag. And a nice sachet of coffee. Mm. Coffee went down alright. I'm actually tempted just to put the coffee in the porridge when it's in its powder form and just mix it all in. It all goes down the same hole anyway. Righty oh, time to get this messy camp sorted out and get the show on the road. Right, that's me ready to go. Leave no trace as always. So I'm headed over here. That is Castle Law Hill. Right, I'm at the top now. This is an MOD firing range. Red flags are down, so it should be okay. <laughs> What I'm going to do is I'm just going to drop down a little bit below here I want to see if I get a nice view right into the guts of the petlands there So uh, I'll bring you back in a moment Well the view did not disappoint That is lovely I've just heard my first cuckoo of 2020 Don't know if the camera will pick that up because it's quite distant 
typical it stopped. So we've got the five peak traverse here, which I did just after Christmas 2019. Well folks, it was definitely worth that detour to check out that view back there. That was rather nice. Even if I'm having to go back up Castle Law Hill and Allermuir Hill. <laughs> anyway, this is probably a good time to wrap up the video. If you've watched this far, thank you very much. If you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.